Josh Rosen ended up being one of the quicker busts you will ever see. I mean, he only played one season. He didn't even play the whole season, and Arizona gave up on him. Admittedly, they gave up on him for Kyler Murray, so they didn't just completely quit on him. And you have to wonder if they didn't like any of the quarterbacks of that draft, they probably do give him another year instead of just get rid of him and you know sign a veteran or something. So it's a little bit different. But I wanted to go back, watch the tape, and really see – again – I like kind of doing these. This has actually been a very fun exercise for me, going back and knowing the knowledge that we have now about someone like Josh Rose and reading it and sort of seeing, okay, how did you end up busting? How did you end up being a bad player when so many people thought that you were... I remember when he was getting drafted, I wasn't big into college football at the time. This was before my YouTube channel when he got drafted. But I remember just uh, a lot of people were saying he's the safest pick in the draft. He might not have the highest ceiling like uh, Sam Darnold, uh, but he might not. He probably has the lowest floor. Apparently, his floor was, you know, all the way to the depths of hell. So we've not really quite the case. Uh, I figured I'd make a video really getting into the film study and talking about what went wrong. So we'll start off with this one. So the way this is going to work is that, uh, you know, the offensive line shifting to the right on this one to block, which means that the player who I've circled in yellow right there, the USC player, uh, he's going to get completely unblocked. And this is something that we're going to learn a lot about with Josh Rosen is he is not exactly the best at reading when a blitz is coming. And in fact, it really became a strategy, and especially in the NFL, but even in college at times, of guys just really blitzing the hell out of Rosen. And like, watch, I mean, you see that there's going to be immediate pressure, and Rosen actually does an okay job on this one of throwing it away. Uh, he typically wouldn't do stuff like that, but this time was actually not the worst example of it. So, But that just kind of goes to show, you know, the pressure came immediately and disrupted the play. He didn't have a safety valve when he should have once he got to the line and read that play. You know, the interesting thing about uh, picking up a blitz is that no one ever blames the quarterback. The offensive line always gets so much of the criticism. And I think it's, I don't think it's a coincidence that we always talk about how Josh Rosen had two horrible offensive lines with both Arizona and with Miami. But then when he wasn't playing, the offensive lines weren't great, but they did look competent. And that's not to say that like he was in a great situation on either of those teams or anything. But without a doubt, I do think that he made it look worse. And especially in college, typically when you would see a play like that, you just say, oh, wow, offensive line didn't do their job. But really, there's more to it than that. And you can absolutely blame Rosen if you want to. So like then to take a NFL example, we'll show this one where, again, it's going to be something somewhat similar. You see that there's going to be pressure coming. This is going to be a blitz. It's uh, kind of a unique blitz. Looks looks like they have a linebacker covering sort of the top of the screen. Rosen sees, looks like there's going to be sort of this all-out blitz scenario. He wants to get rid of the ball quickly. There's a route that typically works against this type of coverage. So that's where he's going to look. And that's all fine and good. But again, when you see something like this, you have to have a, if things go wrong, what do you do? And usually that is just throw the ball away. But watch, right when this play starts, you know, the... Blitz is actually not picked up that poorly. I mean, it's it's there's definitely pressure, but you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. There isn't like immediate pressure. He's trying to get rid of the ball quickly. And if he wants to throw it to the flat route, I totally understand that. That would actually make sense to me. But it seems like he's, for whatever reason, trying to throw this to the deeper route, which is just a poor read. It also makes no sense because there's two Denver players in the area who are honestly already at the spot where Rosen's going to be throwing to. And he's just basically hoping that this will somehow work out. He throws it anyways, and it's a pick six. So the pocket presence there, it's really, you know, trying to help his uh, really pick up a blitz. This time he did realize it, but he, again, he's just making the wrong decisions when he realizes it. So sometimes it would result in him getting sacked. The guy got sacked an absolute ton. Uh, you look at how much he got sacked compared to how much Fitzpatrick got sacked. It wasn't even close in, when they were in my, both in Miami. So the sacks were a real thing, and just the decision-making when he's under pressure is a real thing. Now, it's worth mentioning. I mean, there's a reason the guy got drafted, right? It's not like uh, – I mean, we all – like there was clearly something that he was doing well, and that something he was doing well was his arm talent. I mean, honestly, his, he's got a great arm. Like, in the NFL – Yes, or kind of yes, but in really in college, I mean, you can absolutely see why he got drafted. He made some great throws. Like right here, this is going to be, it's again that uh, USC game that I'm talking about. So they blitzed a lot in that game. But if the blitz gets picked up, this could be a good situation because there's going to be one-on-one -on -one matchups. And as you see, there is a receiver open downfield. And really, it's going to come down to how good of a throw is Josh Rosen going to put on this one. And look at it. It's perfect. I mean, he threw it a mile in the air, but that was kind of good. You know, that's kind of what he should have done there. 
So it's not maybe as impressive as one of those bullets, but he got the job done, and that's what matters. Like, his arm talent is absolutely there. Honestly, a play like this, I think, is even more impressive, where it's going to be, you have a slant route against man coverage, cover one blitz, that's what he's trying to hit. And really, what's going to be key about this one is going to be the zip you'll see on it, and then also the accuracy. Watch how right when this play starts, it's well-timed. He gets a great zip on it and perfectly accurate. I can't show that whole play because it'll get copyright claimed, but uh, it was a touchdown. And so that kind of just goes to show how good he can be at some of these things. Uh, the guy has really good accuracy and great arm talent, uh, great arm strength, and it really works in, in those kind of plays. That over-the-middle stuff was fantastic. So then you might be wondering, well, wait a second, Jackson. If that's the case, then, okay, he has a few issues, but great arm. Well, why doesn't he just sort of get in the right system, learn how to fix his mistakes, and then he could be a great NFL quarterback, right? Maybe there's still hope. No, there isn't still hope. The reason is because while his arm was great in college, there's a difference between a great college arm and a great NFL arm. And the reality is his NFL arm was just okay. So like right here, this is a, a good example, I would say, where what's going to end up happening on this one is that it's going to be zone coverage. And you have a receiver who's running sort of in that middle area where there typically could be an opening. This is kind of like a Tampa 2-ish thing. So over the middle, there absolutely could be a window for Rosen to make this throw. And watch how right when this play starts, you notice that Rosen has time. Uh, there is a potential for this one to be complete, so Rosen's going to throw it there, which absolutely makes some sense. But this is the, the issue with the NFL versus college. In college, this is getting complete every single time. The defenders aren't good enough to make breaks and be able to make a play on this one. In the NFL, the reality is defenders are really good. And what looks like it's going to be open can close in a hurry. You have to be better at timing. And you really have to have, if you're going to just rely on arm strength and arm talent, you have to have like a tremendous arm. You can't just have a good arm, which is what Rosen has. And as you see, uh, this one's just going to get intercepted, uh, which is, again, it's, it's a good play for sure. But defenders in the NFL make good plays pretty consistently. That's what you have to deal with if you are trying to you know, play against them. So yeah, in this, I guess it's a series now that I've been doing with Josh Rosen, uh, or not with Josh Rosen, with uh, Bust as a whole, I find it very fun just going back, trying to figure out you know, the intricate details and how someone became a bust, and also why people thought they weren't going to be a bust. And this one, I totally get why people thought that he was going to be good. Like, I can see it. Then honestly, I I really do feel like Josh Rosen, he's an understandable bust. Like I don't put it against the Cardinals for drafting him because his tape, there was so much good. And what ended up killing him was really stuff that you really had to be paying close attention to to notice it. So uh it's it's very interesting. I feel like again, I wasn't evaluating quarterbacks at that time, but I feel like if I was, I think there's a real chance I would have been way too high on Rosen. And it's because of stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of the underlooked stuff that sometimes can sink guys. That's what happened with Josh Rosen. And maybe again, if you like to evaluate quarterbacks, I think that this is, you know, obviously I like to do it. This is something that I pay more attention to now. Once I saw Josh Rosen, it's like, okay, pocket presence and, you know, ability to notice when a blitz is coming and having a safety valve, stuff like that, that can be really important. And, you know, Yes, you have a good arm, but you have to come up with some other stuff to be successful in the NFL. So that's kind of what I take away a little bit and what you learn from. So le you learn from the bust almost as much as you learn from the good players, I think. Uh, what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on Josh Rosen? Did I nail it or do you think I'm completely wrong? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.